Hello everyone and welcome to a Destiny 2 news video. This is probably, I think this is the first one I've done. First one I've done. Now let's get the, the elephant side store of an elephant out of the room. Shadow keeps delayed to October. This is, this is a shock to some people. And I know about, I know, I have a feeling really about why they've delayed it, this, that and the other. They probably delayed it because they don't want to rush it, they don't want it to release it bad, cough cough, cross of Osiris, just for it to get better over time. Or, like, cough cough, D1 at launch, it wasn't the best, D2 at launch wasn't the best. D2 at launch was a travesty. It's a, it's like the Destiny game curse. They release it, it's bad, the people who stick around, enjoy it, gets better and some people come back, some of them don't. I was there, for, I was there, I was there, D1 beta. I got D1. Stopped playing it after I completed the vanilla story. I came back and Taken King. I've been playing Destiny daily ever since. It's one of the best game franchises in my opinion. It has some range of issues that I hope will be resolved with this delay or will shadow keep. And yes, I know I just died. Clamber doesn't exist. Bungie, give us a clamber button or don't. But this auto clamber thing is just a pain in the ass sometimes. But now, a great thing about Destiny 2, there's some few good things about Shadow Keep being delayed. Bungie have more time to work on it. Make, the, make it better, make sure it works as intended, no bugs, no problems like there was with Warmind, like one I dealt with where I couldn't load into the game. Well, I could load into the game, I had no DLC, even though we had it, because I got because of a Sars on release from the expansion pass I game share with my father, and I didn't get it, that whole thing, and I got pissed about it, I went on Bungie's Twitter, and absolutely flamed them. So when nine hours later, when I was able, actually able to play, well, well I went asleep for nine hours, woke up, went through the war mine campaign overnight, done, dusted, gone there. That was all that meme. Just due to the fact of these glitches that's happened previously, I hope Bungie takes it in the right step about it and I don't want them to mess it up as soon as Bungie have sorted out the game well, as soon as Bungie sort out Shadowkeep I don't care if they have to delay it a second time right as long as it releases complete and pristine cough cough unlike Anthem and Destiny 1 and 2 when it first launched I will be fine with that Bungie, you probably won't hear this, take your time with Shadowkeep. If it takes you another, like, like weeks, days, months, that a year, but if it takes, how long ever it takes you, take the time you need. I'm patient, I waited a year for D2 to get good again, had to back my friend. Just take as long as you need, Bungie. That's all I'm saying. The community wants Destiny to be great again, but well, it's got much better with Forsaken and with the um, annual pass updates, it became one of the best games to ever be launched. It's needing a few adjustments, I'm saying that. Cough cough nerf to supers and all that and the other. I've not dealt with a Lord of Wall since the nerf. Don't think people stopped using it on the box. Bungie when it comes to it, there's some things I don't want you to take your time with, and there's some things I do. Content updates, take your time with those. I want a game to it to release pristine and finished. If, for example, you delayed Forsaken, right? You might have noticed, like, with the Forsaken update, that one eye mask was overpowered, Spectral Blaze with the Grinch and Vet, the Grinch and Vet was with on spectral you might have noticed these things if you delayed it like a month or so Bungie, if hoping this delay period you look around have someone look around dedicated 
to try and find things that are blatantly overpowered, like one mask on release, and all the other stuff, like glitches that are game breaking, all that. Like, I don't know, but did any of you test Jug Titan in PvP when you done its buff? In PvE, it's got easy mode, in PvP it's easy mode, because you kill the team, the enemy team, and you go back to the other side of the map and you kill them all again. I just want Bungie to take their time, have someone look through the game for, or game and all that, find bugs, find glitches, find plainly other padded weapons in this, and alert the team, they get two now, perfect, pronto. Now, Bungie needs to take this advice, doubt they will, but doubt they are in here, so that's why I doubt they will. But if they do hear it, Bungie, it's me to you on a personal note, Deej, anyone, community manager or what the fuck, Take your time with the game. That's all I ask of you. This is me speaking for the community. I oh, hardly think you want... We Well, we want this game to be good. And I'm fairly certain you do as well. I hope this gets, this gets through. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one.